Hello, you're in the Beat Sessions. I'm your host, Mitchell Weary. We are looking at the brand new record from Nancy Wilson entitled You and Me, which she released on May 7th. This is the debut solo record from the legendary heart guitarist. That is right. You heard me correct. I was shocked to read that. Some of you probably knew that. I admittedly have not kept up with the band as much in the last few decades. I'm a sucker for Dreamboat Annie, Little Queen, the stuff they did in the late 80s. Come on. Bad Animals, Brigade, Self-Titled. Man, that stuff. Some people think it's so cheesy. I absolutely love it. But needless to say, I digress. It's really cool to see her branch out and do her own thing on this record. And it sounds fantastic. This is a really fun project. 12 songs coming in at 45 minutes. It's a chill record. I've, I've always loved Nancy for her style as far as combining classical guitar with a very heavy sound. But this album definitely is just focusing more on that classical style. There's moments where it does get a little heavy. But for the most part, it's pretty mellow, chill. And lyrically, there's a, a lot of really nice, sweet songs on this record. And a handful of cool covers that she does that I, uh, I think um, do the songs justice. And I think provide just, you know, interesting, uh, interesting versions of those tracks that you'll probably dig on on certain occasions. You know, that's the, the best thing about a cover song is sometimes you're just in the mood for a different version. This album opens up with You and Me. It's a sweet ode to her mother, very uh, just gentle acoustic opener um, featuring Sue Ennis, who has helped her write a lot of songs, uh, the original material on this record. Second track, she does a cover of Springsteen's The Rising, which is pretty solid. It's one of my favorite Springsteen covers, so I'm, I'm having a tough time thinking that it's ever going to, to be better or that I'm ever going to want to listen to it over the original. But if I'm going to listen to this album in its entirety, it's a great piece of it. I really dig that. I'll Find You, probably one of the best hooks on the record. It's just a, a really sweet sentiment lyrically in this song with a great hook. And uh, Nancy's just nailing that as far as this record. There's really a, a lot of nice uh, homage that she pays to, to people. We'll get into that down the, the road here. Uh, covers Pearl Jam's Daughter and really like the energy that she brings to the chorus. There's this inflection in her voice that kind of sounds like angsty 90s Alanis Morissette, so I thought that was pretty cool. She works with Taylor Hawkins from Foo Fighters and Duff McKagan, bass player for Guns N' Roses, on the fifth track. Party at Angel Ballroom, they're definitely indulging in their 80s style on that track. It's fun. Picks up the pace a little bit on the album, so it's, it's kind of a, a, a nice segment there at, at this point in the album. The Boxer is a cover of Simon and Garfunkel that she does with Sammy Hagar. And I was really shocked at how well their uh, their voices, uh, like the harmony is is really pleasant on that. I'm not I'm not the hugest Hagar fan. And uh, and so I was I was pleasantly surprised with that and, and very tickled. It's a, a great cover there. Album goes on, really dig the track, uh, the in-between. There's lyrically just a great sentiment there. I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and read some of this stuff to you because it's, uh, it's pretty awesome. I just, I like this uh, mix black and white, shake it like a tambourine. And, that, and all that's left is the in-between, the in-between. And I really just like Nancy's perspective on this uh, album lyrically, or this song in particular lyrically. If you're only thinking black and white, if you're only thinking in wrong and right, if you're saying left is the only right, if you're saying right is the only way, you're going to lose the day. Which this is, uh, this is the, the type of lyric, you know, when we're talking about songs that address social issues, this is something that, you know, hopefully can stand the test of time. I think it will. I, I like the general way in, in which it's written, and I think the, the sentiment is something that resonates with a lot of people right now. So I, I dig her, uh, her go-to on that. She does a cover of Cranberry's Dreams, which is interesting, features Liv Warfield on that track. I, uh, again, it's another one of those where I like it as a, a piece of the album, but I don't know if I'd take the cover over the original. The Dragon is an excellent song, probably the heaviest track on the record, very grungy. I was surprised by it. It's uh, it's very different than than the rest of the energy on the record, but it, it's working and it fits. And I and I really like the way that she incorporates it into the album. Final track is uh, called "For Edward," and it's uh, a cool little tribute to Eddie Van Halen. She's messing around with the uh, with the jump melody and uh, showing off some of that classical guitar skill in the process of doing so. It's really a nice homage to the late Van Halen guitar player. I will say the the one criticism that I, I do have a bit with this record is the number of covers. It just uh, it does feel a little full, but the runtime is right right in the sweet spot. Twelve songs again at forty five minutes, and uh, it's just a fun experience. You can tell that Nancy had a good time making this record. That uh, that it, she was just in that headspace. That this felt like the right thing to do at the right moment. This doesn't feel like a COVID record or anything like that. Uh, despite you know having that that time to put this project together. But what a treat from her. I really dug this. I'm going to vinyl please this. I hope you find this review helpful. Please enjoy listening to this record. 
Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and check out the live show on Sundays, and we will see you next time on The Beat Sessions.